Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. This is a general reading in regards to love. Uh, we are looking at a connection, so this will be someone that you are actually connected to. We're starting here with the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck to get the overall energy of the connection that you're currently in, or the one that you're seeking information about. Can we get overall energy for the connection for Taurus, please? All right. Okay. We get two cards, which first is assessing card number nine. Uh, and the second is extremes card number 34, the hot moon, um, which I often, when I see this card, I always think about passion, you know, um, and like physical connection with somebody. But this card actually, when you like read about it in the book, it talks about almost anger. It talks about the heat of anger and um, I don't know. Um, yeah, it talks about like the heat, the heat of the sun, you know, <laughs> and, and how hot we get when we're like being hot, angry is what it kind of refers to. But, uh, anyway, the assessing card here talks about looking at, uh, where you are currently and back at where you were, where you started, where, where were you headed when you first started down your journey, you know? And have, are you still on the path to that? And if you're not, how do you get back on course? How do you get back to where you wanted to be? Uh, or possibly have you discovered yourself on a new path and where that is heading is where you actually want to go. It's all about looking at where you are, where you started and where you're going. I mean, it's just looking at the whole picture and really trying to figure out where it is you want to be. And then to get this extremes card on top, I mean, in addition to, like I said, this has to do with, it has to do, possibly there is anger in the situation, possibly there is heat of some kind in the situation, because for me, uh, whenever I see this card, I just, I, I see passionate energy, so maybe that resonates for you, okay, uh, but it would be like an extreme degree of it, you know? There's either a lot of anger happening in the situation, a lot of, um, yeah, or there's a lot of passion happening in the situation. So you will have to see how that resonates for you. Okay, we're going to take a look at the tarot now. Uh, and we're going to draw, hopefully, one card for for each question. We're going to ask six questions and hopefully get one card for each question, but it doesn't always work out that way. So we'll see what happens, but we're going to start by taking a look at the person that you're dealing with. We want to know, obviously, how do they feel about you? So how does this person connecting with Taurus with one card spirit? How does this person feel currently about Taurus? Please tell us. <laughs> ah, that's funny. The Ace of Wands, okay, which is, uh, Aces represent new beginnings, or it could be like the reigniting of something, you know, starting fresh in something. Um, new beginnings actually happen all the time in relationships. If you're actually, like, growing, you know, uh, things get stagnant, and then a, a fire is lit again, and that's what this Ace of Wands is, a fire being lit, okay? Um, wands represent passion, they represent excitement, creativity, you know, so yeah, Ace of Wands, they're, they're attracted to you for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at you, Taurus. How do you feel with one card, Spirit? How does Taurus feel about this person, about the person in this connection? How does Taurus feel, please? The Seven of Swords, Taurus. That has to do with deception. Uh, it could be that you're hiding something. It could be that you're hide. I mean, I don't know what that something is. You would know. But the Seven of Swords is, yeah, you feel like you, you either feel like you're being deceptive 
or like you're hiding something. Um, the seven of swords can sometimes be like, I'm walking away from you, but not really, you know, kind of energy. So if that resonates for you, but with the seven of swords, it's generally about being sneaky, being deceptive, not being upfront, you know? And so either you feel that that's necessary or, um, yeah, as far as feelings, Seven of Swords, you may feel like they're deceiving you in some way, like they're not being upfront with you. Let's go ahead and we're going to ask now what, what is the Three of Pentacles, which has to do with collaboration. No, that's what, that's what needs to go here. Three of Pentacles, this is collaboration. This is coming together to work towards something. They want to work with you. Uh, they want to they want to build something. They want to create more with you. Uh, and so they want to come together and find a way to make it work, you know, whatever it is that they're that they're like ultimately hoping for currently in their hopes is this desire to work together. They want to work with you. Okay. What is in your these cards are just the the first ones came out slow but now they're just flying out so we get the world no no no. we get the wheel of fortune card number 10 here the wheel of fortune you want things to improve you want things to get better and we get the four of pentacles which is holding on tightly to something you don't want to lose anything you don't want to lose any of what you've um the four of pentacles is is everything he's sitting on this box you can't see it in this picture but he's sitting on a box and inside that box it is all of his treasures and then of course he's holding he's got two under his feet one on his head and one in his arms uh, and he's holding on to these treasures and they all mean a lot to him they're all things that he's invested in you know with those pentacles, that's where we invest ourselves. It could have to do with finances, but with the four of pentacles here, that's, you don't want to lose anything, you know, you're holding on tightly to them. So you want things to improve without, without having to give up anything is kind of how that comes across. Um, if you stay in your current, if, if you stay in your current energy, okay, what is the most likely outcome for this connection? You get the King of Swords. It kind of came out in the sideways. Um, but the King of Swords is uh, air sign. So you might be dealing with an air sign. That's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But the King of Swords is truth and logic, okay? And pra and being practical. So uh, there's, there's something here about... about that truth and about that logic and it's it's like uh you're going to move forward in 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 that energy you know with with that truth and with that logic with that um also very dedicated the king of king of swords is very dedicated energy and it's not a whole lot of heart though i gotta say with the king of swords it's like i'm gonna put my emotions aside i'm gonna do what's right i'm gonna do what makes sense i'm gonna do what um what path I'm, I'm going to take the path that yeah makes sense kind of with that energy there let's find out if you what what can a uh, Taurus do to get the outcome that they want what can they do for the outcome they desire what actions can they take what advice would you recommend for them to get what they want that's interesting okay first off it's interesting because we get the queen of swords which is the pair to the king of swords there you know uh perhaps this is what you want you know to move forward in 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 the way that makes sense okay logically speaking but like i said that's not it's not actually following in, in the king of swords he kind of puts his emotions on the back burner and relies more on logic and re relies more on what makes sense and what's practical okay and if that's what you want that's great that's that's perfectly all right you you do what is best and right for you always okay uh but maybe uh, if, if you're hoping to follow your heart like that wouldn't necessarily be the outcome you would look for but with the queen of swords here 
she talks about putting up boundaries, you know, know what you want, know what you want. Okay. Uh, be honest with yourself, be honest with the people you're connecting with and enforce boundaries, uh, to, to get the outcome that you want for yourself. Okay. Uh, just trying to make room because we got a lot of cards here. We get the Four of Swords, which indicates kind of taking a step back. In the Four of Swords, we've been at battle, you know, and we are now like recovering from that battle. We're taking a step back. We're laying, we're recovering, we're trying to, it's kind of heal. And also with the Four of Swords, we're thinking about the future and we're thinking about what we hope for ourselves. It's almost like a daydreaming kind of energy. You you step back, you pull yourself back, you heal, and you and, and you kind of daydream about what you want, uh, about this beautiful future you want for yourself, okay? So we get that. We also get the Five of Wands, which is interesting because the Five of Wands is about fighting. It says don't give up. Um, you're being advised to be clear, be clear about what you want, be honest about what you want, maybe take a minute, like take a step back, and also established boundaries. Sorry with the Queen of Swords here. The Four of Swords, take a step back and allow yourself to dream. You know, allow yourself to recover and allow yourself to dream for what you want. And then the Five of Wands is like, go get it. Okay. Five of Wands is some, is a very competitive energy. Very, uh, yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it and I'm not going to stop fighting until I have it because I want that something. And it's so important to me. And it's like such it's such a big deal to me that I can't step away and I'm going to fight you until I, until I get what I want. And, uh, so yeah, with the five of wands, you're being advised to don't give up, like go get it, go after what that is. Okay. We also get, uh, the page of cups here, uh, and the page of cups. Well, I mean that that's an open heart for sure. You know, opening your heart, like don't at this point, it's saying, open it up. Uh, the Page of Cups, he, he's very, the pages can sometimes be messengers, so it may be that you need to say something uh, in, in regards to your emotions. Maybe you need to express how you feel, possibly, ex possibly give an apology if that's something that resonates for you, if there's something that you feel you need to apologize for. But the Page of Cups is, He's like dipping his water and he's dipping his toes into his emotions, you know, and into that space. And when we talk about cups, we talk about love. Emotions are more than just love. You know, we have many, many, many emotions and cups represent all of those emotions. But uh, with the page of cups, he is, he's like dipping his toe into it. You know, he's not completely dismissing his emotions anymore. He's like, he's putting his toe in there. I'm, I want to see what's in there. I want to explore that a little bit more. And, um, and like, it's, it's the first step towards pulling it all back in, you know? So take a look at it, you know, be honest with yourself, uh, allow yourself to connect with those emotions. Okay. And it maybe slowly move them back in if that's what you feel is necessary. Cause you may just be in a situation where you feel you have to pull back your emotions at this time and, and be logical. Cause sometimes we find ourselves, uh, in a connection with someone because we care about the person and we don't want to hurt them. Uh, and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to hurt them. And so we allow that desire to not hurt them, keep us in a place that we don't, that wouldn't necessarily be best for us because, because we don't want to hurt that person. So in that situation, we need to pull ourselves back. We need to uh, pull back our emotions and rely on our logic to get us through the moment. And then like open the door back to your emotions there. Uh, the last card we got is actually the moon, which implies that, um, possibly you're not seeing something that's there. It's saying the moon, as far as advice or action, it's saying like shine a light on the situation because I don't, well, number one, don't be afraid because it's not as scary as you think it is. Okay. Uh, because the moon does talk about fear. So if there's something here that you're afraid to look at, if you're afraid to like really, um, approach that idea, whatever it is, it's not as scary as it looks, okay? So shine a light on it and, and look at it and see it for what it really is. 
So yeah, that's the advice that we have here. Gosh, I hope that all made sense to you. Um, we're going to get one more card. One more card of advice for you. Well, the Ace of Cups is at the uh, bottom of the deck there, which is a new beginning. Aces represent new beginnings, and Cups represent our emotions. And so that's kind of like underlying energy, you know? The advice is here. These are the actions that you need to take. And then, like, what fuels that actually is a new beginning in, like, love, really. A new beginning a fresh start in that space and so that's what that's what's fueling this advice here so let's go ahead this deck here i don't even know what it's called i got it at some tiny shop in utah and uh, yeah i don't i think it was just wrapped in like plastic it didn't even have a name on it but we're gonna get advice from it okay <laughs> can we get advice for taurus in regards to this connection Okay, so it says, I'm igniting my right to live boldly. That's interesting. So it's telling you to take action, to be bold. That's what, that is what spirit is advising you, to be bold, um, to ignite that within yourself. Okay, because we're asking for advice here. So you're being advised to, yeah, light that fire, you know, be bold with it, be forward, okay? So yeah, wow. I hope all of this resonates for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, if you did, I'd love, I'd love to hear about it. First off, if you wouldn't mind liking the video to let me know, that would be awesome. If you don't mind posting a comment, uh, that would be really great as well. If you haven't already and would like to subscribe so that you, um, so my videos come up for you more often, that would be awesome as well. But either way, thank you so much for watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. So thank you. I hope that you have a beautiful day. I wish you luck in what you're trying to achieve here, Taurus, whatever that is. And um, yeah, I hope I see you back here again next week. Bye.